what's up guys this is the bright Foreman and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my own play total war let's play is the kingdom of venice and in this episode uh we have advanced to try and bring some pressure on to the united provinces because after we've secured hanover uh, that is our new front line so this force this um irregular force on the yababus schaefer is about to get smashed between the armies of venice and bavaria our grand bavarian allies i do like trying to bring I do like fighting battles with allies um, in them, and it always makes them a little bit more unpredictable, but uh, only when I don't get screwed over. If, for example, the AI, AI is attacking a fort that would otherwise be mine, and they're going to steal it from me, that sucks. They can get back. <laughs> um, but yeah, on the field of battle, that's grand. It will just share the casualties out. So we're going to advance slowly, let our artillery do lots of damage and really i want to kind of see what the bavarians do oh we're advancing through the town anyway okay and a lovely piece of high ground to position our batteries excellent we don't need to worry about trap or shot or anything fancy i think i want to send one formation around this area to try and get into a bit of the clearer ground and kind of position advance some troops through the town some skirmishes to kind of try and hold positions on the left something like this generally howitzers can fire a round shot and I want them focusing on the enemy Cavalry, really. They're only provincial cavalry. Not very good, but it'll do. Although a lot of the enemy cavalry is on the left flank. Okay, it may actually be smarter to run you guys back. Pivot you guys a bit. Try to get some stakes positioned or put down. Run some infantry up the right flank. They are advancing, they are running, they are charging, so it's going to be a bit of a. Okay, let's commit my heavy cavalry into the action. There come our brave Bavarian allies. Okay, don't, don't have to commit any more. Provincial cavalry being engaged by musketry and turned back. And my left flank is secure. So here come the Bavarian columns. Militia. Expat infantry. Grenadiers. I remember my Bavaria. Let's play. Nice. So they're entering the field. Um, haven't targeted my artillery batteries yet, although it looks like they feel compelled to kind of match us. Oops, sneeze. Apologies for that. Uh, right. Those are just conscripts. Although that is the Swiss Pikes, so there is a limit how fast we want to engage. Okay, how it says switch to special shot and then begin engaging the enemy formations. Ooh. So my Heavy horse artillery is going to start trying to blast. These guys are shrapnel shot, but I'd be curious to see if we can actually... If the shells will detonate on the buildings. We might not have line of sight. Go on, line in 
infantry. You can begin engaging those conscripts. Shrapnel shots mowing these guys down. The marines will have something to say about that. Oh. The militia about to get mowed down by the cuirassier, so let's just advance our troops up. Let's also just in general start advancing into the town. Our advantage is overwhelming and undeniable. Especially as those Swiss pikes have withdrawn, we can take the high ground hopefully with enough speed. Crossier engage the provincial cavalry. They're going to go down pretty rapidly. Provincial cavalry is the some of the lightest cavalry in the game. Actually, foot artillery keep engaging. Fancy heavy horse artillery. Swiss round shot bombard. That unit of Swiss pikes. There we go. You men advance up into the gap. these men through the gap. Heavy cavalry engage that Swiss cav unit. Swiss pikes have committed into the centre so we might actually be able to get a bit of a surround going here. Regiment of Horse, go for the Hessian Jaeger, because they're nice and isolated. You're going to take some losses, but that's okay. Skirmishers run up here and get into position. No, we managed to charge them before they got shots off, that's great. Third shot, third rank shot off. Great, no blue on blues for me. You guys just stop firing, put a volley into the Swiss pikes. That's enough to break them. For you killed the Hessian Jaeger. They're a good unit to wipe out. All my artillery switched to round shot, just engage whoever. There's no real particular targets to worry about. Maybe my howitzers bombard the horse artillery. Might have a bit of fratricide here. Advance. Keep killing the provincial cav. commit my general over here to start trying to run down some of the enemy troops that are retreating. Even though we don't really need to kill them exactly, um, let's just do it. Although a lot of these conscripts are spread out quite nicely. Artillery, all of you ceasefire. Kill the Swiss pikes. You men just, I mean, you may as well just try and kill enough units to be useful, but don't worry about necessarily wiping out entire units because that might be somewhat impractical. Although we are going to get a couple. Yeah, they're going to, they've split up enough to be safe. get this unit, no, sadly not. 
all of you go after this European mercenary unit. There's enough cavalry. To be honest, I don't really mind if they don't get them. Just, uh, well, they might do. Oh yeah, we got them. Nice. Very good indeed. A good victory. So that is, yeah, a really good victory. So we've got a couple of these, a couple of units got bump up in experience, heavy cavalry, heavy uh, horse guard artillery has gained some experience, which is always good. Cool. Back you go. So Luca, hold position, replenish. Gustavo, advance on the north and threaten Amsterdam. Your teensy bit isolated but that's okay I mean, Hanover really hates us but we've only just taken over the city so Dresden let's repair the church school let's repair the farm Brandenburg let's boost the church school let's drop some industry upgrades abreast the Tovsk so we're under siege from the poles here but I'm gonna bet I'm gonna gamble Let's assume they don't attack us here. And then next turn, we can capture Minsk. Bit of a gamble. Because if we attack Minsk, then we don't have to fight the defence of the city. We can just carry on doing what we're doing. Same with over here, really. Uh, you guys just keep replenishing. These armies are really weak. We don't need to worry about fighting that action at the minute. So, Ludovico, just... Keep maintaining a watch on the Spanish troops to the south. You men just back up Algiers. Again, we're not necessarily worried about fighting these battles. We're okay. Taking a bit of a slower approach to them. Uh, Russia. I mean, yeah, you've got a lot of scope for economic growth right here. And let's get a couple of these upgrades. These, um, Bird Trapper upgrades in Archangelsk. Okay, no villages left. So you don't get any ports. It's kind of sucky. Petrovskaya, let's get you a trade port. Then we can start to export more of... Actually, yeah, we can export Archangelsk's goods. Don't really want a military governor's building back here now. So Kazan is still growing quite handsomely. As far as Catholicism is concerned. So really... What I'm most interested in... I suppose it is that North African front. It's the biggest possible... Where we can achieve some of our biggest gains against our enemies in the south. Start working back Spain. At some point... Their fleet may attempt to challenge us. Let's try and recruit. Like, you're already doing it. Sweet. Just let you guys replenish. Okay. Giancarlo. Vico. You need... Get the unit of heavy cavalry... Plus two light infantry plus some cool a cool um ooh there we go. One unit of Swiss Mountain Jaeger plus a unit of Guerrilla Mercenaries plus a unit of really good infantry, or at least get engineers. And you're up to full strength, you can be ready to join the battlefield. Let's push these con this conscript army up because they might be in a position to garrison Hanover and allow us to advance forward. We're in a bit of a standoff at Riga because we're kind of hoping that the Swedes advance on us and allow us to trigger a siege assault battle. Apart from that... So 
So Mr. Ferretti, you can probably stand to lose your unit of conscripts. And request a... Do you want to get Swiss Pikes? Well, I've already got one unit of regular pikemen, so I don't necessarily need Swiss Pikes. We can get some Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Let's repair this. Get a couple of upgrades. That agent's on the way to the north. Um, agents wasn't what I was after here. Come on, catch up. No generals of note here. Oh, come on. Let's try sabotage their, their um, theatre. The Royal Observatory. Oh, actually, that made them happier. Interesting. Um, they, yeah. Hmm. Don't worry. We will march on you. We're just waiting for our troops to gain, our troops to strengthen. Let's probably recruit another unit of Swiss Mountain Jaeger into this army as well. They're both ready to go. This army at Petrovskaya is going to hold just for now while we've got troops here. So you're ready to march on Minsk. You're going to attempt to try and do something sneaky, but I don't think you're going to do it. Um, okay, let's hit end turn. Let's let everything tick forward. We're definitely on course to capture a few more territories. I think in India there's not a huge amount we've got left to do either. There we go. The Dutch have withdrawn from the frontier, so that force that we've just committed to battle. Ooh, looks like they are teeing up for some more. Ah, there we go. The garrison at Cagliari is coming after us. Let's deal with them. I think this might be the end of the city. It may fall after this. In which case this army can um, take the city, quell any rioting or unrest, then they will refit and maybe they might land in Madrid. Maybe. Land in Madrid, then we can attack the Spanish capital, really weaken their ability to wage war against us. And we're probably not going to hunker behind. Oh, you could you kind of. Well. You can kind of hunker behind some defences. I think the terrain on the left doesn't really... Well, it's not so bad. I can't really... Oh, it's here. Well, there's a bit of a defilade. Get some conscripts down with some cavalry, anti-cavalry barricades. You guys are in the fight. Something like this. Marines just hold back. These conscripts just take the high ground with a bit of behind a bit of cover. Cavalry is also going to hold with the marines. So these gunners can probably go... Hmm. They want to be right up on top. Which probably suggests... Taking my marines up there with them just to make sure they're safe. And you as well, I guess. Probably a bit of overkill to commit both of my marines up here, but it's safe enough. So we're beginning to do some counter battery. My howitzers start to engage their cavalry. Again, because it is raining, we're going to get some 
weird sound effects. Their cavalry is going to try and push my flank. Some of their cavalry is just going to charge right towards us. Well, not necessarily charge, advance towards us. These guns are in position, get them unlimbered. Same with you chaps, get them unlimbered. About to march within musket range. Once they get to the top of the hill, oh, how it says I've landed a couple of blows. Yep, they've been mowed down. The enemy is running because suddenly they realise they can't maintain that level of loss my artillery engage probably take these men angle them a bit smarter now we know where the enemy forces are probably don't need to fire Quick climb into these guys, gonna to wanna to stick to firing round shots. So the gun team in the line, we see the cavalry, but that's not a problem. General's bodyguard are being mown down. This regiment, of course, they did make it into the line. But we'll drop one union to square. We've got our cavalry here. You men charge the regiment of horse just because you're an opportunity you've got an opportunity to kill quite a lot of them as they rout. Then charge the regiment of horse. Horse artillery plus a line infantry unit. Okay, here's the the strength of the enemy's line. It's pushing right towards us. Okay, let's get you guys. Give us my cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Push forward towards the Dutch here. Don't really need to advance out of cover, but going to anyway. He men charge the general's bodyguard. Well, here's the head of the enemy's column. Their flank has been turned. The shrapnel shots just burst in the middle of their rank. Ranks. How oh, it's a shots landing nearby. Partially fired their volley and fled. See if we can kill their general. Looks like we might not get them. Oh no, that's not their general. Their general's over here. Shrapnel shots just slamming into the enemy. Okay, begin the general advance. You men secure the high ground on the ridge line. Marines advance towards the city. Attack the 14th. Let's see if we can shatter them. Got them. Excellent. Push towards. Just push straight towards them. Line infantry. Basically everyone, I guess. Don't give them an opportunity to reform. Um, you guys. 
Ravens. Okay, one of you is going to go after... Maybe get both both these Marines units to just to chase down this gun team. All my artillery. Engage that unit of Dragoons. How it says engage the conscripts. Actually, no, fight the Dragoons. gun team has gone come just a little bit too close for comfort get them and they've dismounted as well ideal excellent okay you men attack that horse artillery unit enemy unit is shaken they are likely to break pretty rapidly artillery is landing nearby yeah, that's the last unit on the field all oh, my artillery yeah, fire at them oh how it's unit hit dead on yep yeah, that's the end of them I imagine I imagine that's gonna be the end of their garrison here but we'll soon find out that's something to do again turn phase next time Yeah, you've been pushed back. We've not hopped into the city yet. No, it's still Dutch for the time being. They're bringing up reserves to try and save Algiers, but it's not going to work. Poland, this is the big one. Will they attack us? No, they didn't, and they didn't push on Kiev. So the gamble's paid off. The gamble has well and truly worked. Hello, there's a Swedish general that's advanced up. Okay, that's an army that needs to be dealt with. We need to squash the Baltics as well, realistically. We need them to be crushed so we can just clear out the Swedish contingent there. Push up towards the bottleneck and then start to um whoop. moogles are coming denmark are on the march they've not pushed towards us bavaria is on is advancing which is excellent why if we, if we engage this army we won't be able to flank them we'll use the bavarian troops to completely outflank them Workers on strike in Hanover. To be expected. Let's upgrade the poor and build a sloop. Going to build a church school. So not necessarily concerned about long-term happiness. It's about... Well, not necessarily... Sorry, got that, got that the wrong way around. We're not necessarily concerned about um, short-term happiness. It's all about the longer term. Okay, so we're starting to convert the population there, which is pretty good. Okay, Aswan, let's upgrade your horsepower cloth mill, and let's upgrade your farm. Prague's recruitment's going up like mad. Or construct. Well, Prague is upskilling, that's for darn sure. Uh, Theatre of Brandenburg, don't really need it, but we've got lots of cash. Serbia. Astrakhan's cloth mill and Azov. Let's get the Azov steelworks built. Okay, everything is going okay. You down here can just auto resolve against this army to the south. It's dealt with them. So you men just. They do not wish to surrender, so we're going to put them to the sword. Let's take just a block of troops to go deal with your Sprugen. They are also, they've also been dealt with. So let's get rid of the military governor's barracks. Let's replenish the army. 
get rid of the naval hospital. And then, how are you doing on roads? You're doing great. So let's send this agent out to this general. 36%. Ah, rats. Trade gain, trade gain, trade gains. Okay, I think what we want to do is engage the Spanish in the south. So, Mr. Sabatini, you're going to hand the siege over to this force. And then we're going to engage them with Mr. Perini's army and secure the city of Algier, send the Spanish scuttling back across the North African coast. And then we can, well, the march on towards Morocco begins. Start, then hopefully cross over Gibraltar, to Gibraltar, take Lisbon and Madrid, and then suddenly the Dutch have a multi-front war to worry about. So the enemy forces have a lot of cavalry, but they're all, the bulk of it is Hussar cavalry. Oh no, this is, okay. We want to push up here and secure the higher ground. So, it's going to be a bit of a mad dash. The howitzers could probably stay here and begin engaging. Artillery, get up onto the high ground. My infantry. March up to here. Or march, run. Well, they can probably stand to walk. Get my cavalry out against the edge of the map. How it's unable to engage anything anyway, so let's advance the map. Whoops, got to deploy my general, so let's just speed up time while things are getting into position quite sedately. I don't think the enemy is going to push us until our cannons are in position. Once our guns are in position, we're going to be able to do quite a lot of damage to them and then suddenly they're going to realise they can't just sit there. All guns are limber. You engage that Hussar unit, you engage that Hussar unit, you engage that Hussar unit. It's the first shot slam home. Yep, yeah, they, they've already worked it out. They can't just sit there. Okay, this unit, these units going to run the last few steps. Well, they really were probably going to want to be... Like that, really. We stay at range, the howitzers won't be a threat. They can pivot. Well, I'm pretty sure they can pivot at 360 degrees still. There we go. We're on the high ground. If they charge us, we'll get some. do some good damage there. All my guns switch to shrapnel shot. The are some units are just in range. Reload like you had. Okay. 
should send them guttling back. Good hit. Good hit. They're not charging. They're just trotting towards our lines. Oh, there's a charge order. But the 21st is nearly out of the picture. The AT is also incredibly poorly. attempting to advance, the 16th is still advancing strongly, although they just got just got clipped by some shrapnel shot. I wonder what my heart is shooting at. Are they shooting at the Yeah, by default they're going after the artillery. Let's just repulse their cavalry charge for now. We don't really have much of a Cavalry charge, quote unquote. Their infantry is advancing towards us now, which is very nice. Are you going to try and find a weakness around the flank? You're going to be found wanting. find the, the African infantry can't form square but they can fire their muskets well enough. Some are advancing around the town or through the town. 21st down to half strength. Yeah they appear quite happy just to walk towards us. Enough out of you. Infantry have been pushed back. I get my howitzers just to start blinking at these troops that are trying to push around the left. General bodyguard is idle to the rear. Right. Colonial cavalry. I want to try and dash you in, see if you can deal one unit, just to see if they can mop up the artillery. Start to try to back them up with some infantry support. Bring my other cavalry to bear. General's bodyguard's charging us, so we're not going to be able to necessarily mop them up the way we want, but we will be able to get the enemy general. Gunners to start to attack the enemy infantry to the front. Good hits. Should you go for that unit? Yeah, heavy cavalry go for the hussars. They better mop them up, mop them out, mop them up well enough. My cavalry here, my lighter cavalry. Number theirs. Okay. Infantry advance. There's gorillas, there's only a handful of them left. Let's bring you guys across like so. These two units need to advance. Push straight through the line toward the enemy there. I 
I mean, if they're just going to withdraw from the fight, that's fine for me. My light cavalry are routing. You're engaging the armed citizenry, that's okay. Okay, you guys more explicitly focus on the town. These men advance through here. We will have enemy reinforcements coming in, I'm assuming. bring my infantry to bear on this engagement. Send one unit over to clear out the enemy reinforcements. Unless that really was everything. You men get involved. Okay, some of their units are coming back now. The Irish regiment. Also guerrillas. Okay, right, let's start to retarget the fire. Aging some of the town, some of the townhouses. Okay, so maybe the fire, maybe the um position, the position of the uh, the fact they've dug their infantry, their artillery in, does mean they uh, can't fire in all directions. It appears there's no enemy reinforcements coming in. No, there is still a Hussar unit trying to fight. No, no reinforcements. Kill the enemy general. Is the one of the guys manning the gun? Okay, let's get my light cavalry over here my general over here as well artillery east spire okay the new man new men just run from mortar to mortar he's a garrison mortar so we don't necessarily worry about killing them Kill as many pikemen as you can. You're not gonna wipe the unit out, but you know, kills are kills. You help pathfinding against the armed citizenry. You're gonna mop up some of these mortar troops, although apparently there are some. Oh no, that's just highlighting the guns. Disregard. This Irish regiment's not long for the world either. Great. Now I think that might be... Now it is the last unit on the board. Got him. Nice. So that's a big hole blown in the North African front line. Dead. You've been pushed back. So the city is taken. Let's get the, go the government building rebuilt. Let's get the armies replenished. Everybody's already replenished anyway. 
a Naba. Let's get a trade port built. Let's get a light galley constructed. Upgrade the U to a global trade company. This building, let's build a, let's build a um, religious building here to begin converting population to Catholicism. You're going to try and still head south. You're going to position yourself up the coast from Algiers, ready to face off enemy, en any enemy attacks. Let's try to see if you can sabotage the School of Poetry. Well, bad luck. Okay, Hanover's still on strike, but that's fine. You are able to threaten Amsterdam, but I don't want to do that until it's part of a concerted push. So this rake is going to try and assassinate Luke de Bacca. Nope. What about you? 11%. Nope. Even so, actually let's drop a few upgrades here first. Even so, Luca Komen, engage Luke de Bacca. Hopefully I bring in do bring in the Bavarians, plus a load of, plus these troops up at Hanover. <laughs> Not that I'm going to need my troops. Let's bring Bavaria back into the war. Bring them back in. Get them doing some good, especially as they are actually being um, sneaky and defensive and actually being useful rather than hanging back and being a bit more conservative they're actually marching up into the enemy's face and that's pretty darn super not without hope we suffer and we mourn okay we are going to want to advance up rapidly and secure the town How, well secure the high ground in the center some of my strongest units in that part of that central block. Two infantry and guerrillas on either side. I'm curious to see if the my Bavarian reinforcements do actually completely outflank the enemy and come in behind them. Now they kind of slightly outflank them. Interesting how you don't want to position yourselves like that yet, although the enemy is immediately deploying to deal with them. So this infantry, you push up to here. Skirmishers push around the flank. Heavy cavalry get up here as well. My howitzers are just firing at whatever. Ideally, we will push in front of this rock structure. In position, try and help the uh, help our allies. Okay, now we can deploy a bit more aggressively at the top. No, no you don't, heavy cavalry. Skirmish is going to deploy stakes. Oh, general, get up onto the high ground. Bavarians are stuck. They're all stacked up and they can't enter the field. I need to be a bit further forward. Hundred and forty third have chased off that cavalry attack.
Get my artillery up here to fire trap no shot. Okay, they'll definitely get through our stakes. They'll take some good losses before that happens. Retarget the howitzers. So gunners, just eviscerate their formations ahead of us. We own the right flank, so let's take advantage of it. My, yeah, my mercenaries were never going to hold up their end of the bargain on their own. Let's bend our flank around. My heavy cavalry have to hold them off as much as they can. You men try and pursue the general's bodyguard. You're going to pivot ever so slightly to try not be caught out on the flank. Oh, their offensive is struggling. There we go. Swiss infantry's made it to our lines. Been turned back. Let's commit some of our infantry into the fight here. We've caught the general. Twenty-four pound a foot. Engage the militia to see if we can try and clear out the right flank a bit. You men engage. You of conscripts. So I run my cavalry through the square to see if we can draw them in. The general's bodyguard has been broken. The guerrilla mercenaries have come back. So the general is going to escape because we kind of have to kill, have to attack the hussars. Picking off those conscripts. Okay, but I think we, in general we need to push up the right flank a little bit. My heavy cavalry. Need to get them over here as well. Are you men just load and fire. As fast as you can into that combat, they outnumber us significantly. Okay, brought you back out. Okay, howitzers. Begin to drop quick climb just to clear these marines out of their emplacement. So you fire here, you fire here as well, I think. Artillery, you men engage the militia, you men engage Swiss units. You men engage that general's bodyguard, their proper general's bodyguard, all the way at the rear. 
Okay, the enemy cavalry have been dealt with on the flank. Bring our depleted cavalry up. A lot of the marines have been knocked out here. Enemy reinforcements on the left. They advance any closer, although we are hitting them. The, the shells are exploding at the max range. They're still getting struck. Get my howitzers to engage them. Get my foot artillery to engage the enemy in the field ahead of us. Marines are being committed into the action now. Advance right up into them because they've got a bit of a defilade. But you guys can just about hit the corner of that formation. Bang! There you go. Shrapnel shots coming in, but... There we go. Oh, apologies. My this infantry here got uh, heavy cavalry got engaged by the conscripts. All my artillery smack the twenty first. Oh, general, get out of the way. They're being engaged. Shrapnel just blew a hole right through their formation. 24th Regiment, yeah, they broke too. Nice. Could pursue, but let's just call it there, because that was that was enough. Let's raid a couple of these buildings and then go back to friendly territory. Let's get replenishing. I mean, you guys can push up here as well. Just start to um, effectively just start to cause trouble. Just start to raid. War weariness is a thing for the Dutch. That's interesting to note. You're going to raid. Ooh, raid that duck. And let's raid that university. And push back. Just because they do have reasonable... Ooh, household cavalry. Yeah, that's a good little army. Might even be worth bringing you guys out to provide a little bit of extra mass to support them. Um... Make sure to do, yeah, exempt Hanover from tax. That should go a long way to helping out. So you... Your unit is being recruited. So, this force... Can you leave Dresden? Minus four. Recruit a bunch of Dragoons. That should help out. Probably want to... Provide a bit of cover to this force here. Okay. Right, so then the next decisive action is... Well, actually, what it does mean is we can build... Actually, you're... You know, you're mostly orthodox. Because the Polish haven't attacked um, Vilnius... So yeah, we'll make you a theatre, just because you've got some good industry buildings. We have an industry building somewhere else. Because they've not attacked us here at Vilnius, um, Mr. Galvani can attack Poland's last building here at Minsk, and then we're on to the... Well, this will be the final destruction of the Polish faction. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the end of Poland-Lithuania.
Cheers, everyone.